We are moving on. We're officially moving on to 2024. I can't even believe I'm saying that out loud. Goodbye 2023. <laughs> this is a very special video. I don't think we've ever really done a wrap up looking forward end of the year, beginning of the year video. Yeah, we thought it would be fun. Let us know what you guys think. We're gonna sit down today, reflect upon 2023 and everything uh, we got up to because it was a wild year. It was so much fun. And of course, kind of tell you guys a little bit about our plans in 2024. But before we do that, we definitely want to say thanks to all of you that watch our videos from week to week. It means the absolute world to us and we normally don't get a chance to kind of say this at the first of a video. So don't think that's lost on us. Huh? Yeah, so this video is especially devoted to all you people that sit here and watch every week and you talk to us, you send us comments, you send us messages, and we just so appreciate each and every one of you. Just in case you don't know who we are, it's Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. I'm sure most of you know by now. Hit subscribe if you're new and follow along on our adventures if you're not new. Thank you for coming back. First, let's start off, uh, let's go back almost a year now to January. We kicked things off in Vietnam and we quickly fell back in love because it was our second time there, back in love with that country, huh? I know, it's still one of my favorite places. I don't think I realized quite how much I loved it the very first time we were there in 2022, but going back in 2023, we actually spent Christmas there last year and then mm -hmm. rang in the new year and started the year off there. It was a great place to begin. 2023. Yeah, easily one of the highlights of the year for us, mainly because of the food. We ate so much delicious food in Vietnam. We discovered dishes we didn't even know existed, and uh, yeah, it's safe to say at some point we're going to go back there. Absolutely. <laughs> Moving right along though, we went to Thailand as well, bucket list country for us. Amazing. We spent about a month and a half, or well, three months in total, but yeah, a month and a half. Yeah, we were there a couple months before that, before Vietnam, and then we went back again to Thailand. Yeah, we I loved think, it that much. I think a lot of you enjoyed when we were in Thailand, that's for sure. I know a lot of people really love to travel there, and that was another uh, another big highlight. Yeah, and after that was the return to the Philippines, <laughs> oh which was a place that some of you may or may not know this. We got stuck in during the pandemic. We were there for like four or five months. <laughs> yeah, so we had the channel for that long. I think some of you definitely pick us up here in the Dominican Republic and uh, might not know that this channel now is somewhere around eight years old. Eight years old, guys. The first few years, we didn't know what we were doing. Uh, honestly, we weren't even taking it serious. But yeah, when the pandemic hit, we got stuck in El Nido and Palawan uh, in the Philippines for like five or six months. It's all on the channel, but to go back mm -hmm. and, and, and be able to explore the Philippines on our own terms yeah. was crazy. Without being locked down or anything. <laughs> so we actually went to a different area, Cebu, and like did some islands that were kind of around that area. Yeah, it was, it was so much fun. But after that, maybe, maybe the two biggest highlights of the year was when we went to uh, Seoul, Korea, yeah. <laughs> specifically. That place, Korea, it was our first time to Korea. It was absolutely amazing. We fell in love with the people, the, the landscape of the city, Seoul. There's nothing like that place. And right after that, we went to Japan. And who doesn't want to go to Japan? <laughs> I know, Japan was absolutely amazing. A little bit of a shock when we first got mm -hmm. there, but once we settled in, it quickly became one of our favorite places. I can't wait to go back someday. Yeah, the food, <laughs> the, food. the landscapes, the cities. Oh, it's just amazing. But it was around that point where we started to get um, a little bit burnt out. We're gonna talk about uh, some of that as we get going. It wasn't all, uh, let's say, highlights and rainbows and unicorns or whatever you wanna say. There was some challenges for sure. But uh, after that, we decided to break up the flight back to this continent, let's say, and stop over in Hawaii. And oh my, am I ever glad we did that because that was on the bucket list. It was extremely expensive, Ooh. so definitely took a little bit of a hit on that one, but it was worth going to see it. We were in Honolulu. Mm -hmm. It was really fabulous. We took a day and uh, rented a car, got to see a little bit of Oahu. It was pretty cool. I'd love to go back and see some other islands. Yeah, you guys should let us know if we do go back to Hawaii where we should go there because I know there's quite a few islands and uh, I remember getting recommendations, but that was a good way to break up the jet lag though because after that we eventually got back to, yeah. to states. I highly suggest that for anybody that's really worried about the back and forth jet lag that's exactly opposite it's a great yeah. way to stop over yeah so uh, coming back from Asia into the USA was quite a bit of culture shock 
but oh my, at that point, I think we needed it because we came back to just like amazing cheeseburgers and just like <laughs> American food. It was so good, but we, we ended up going to uh, Vegas at first to meet up with uh, some friends, but after that, like one of the biggest highlights of the year, uh, which a lot of people, I don't know if YouTube didn't serve them the videos or not, but was our trip up to Zion uh, in Utah, which was absolutely incredible. Yeah, so we got a camper van. I don't know if a lot of people were turned off by watching us in a camper van or didn't like the idea so, of it. Maybe. Or if it was just YouTube decided we're not in that genre, so it they're not going to show it to people. And that's fine. But yeah. if you didn't watch it, I would highly encourage you to go watch it. It was one of our favorite things we did mm -hmm. last year. And even if you're not into the camper van thing, totally understand. It's worth it just to watch like Zion and all the cool stuff. Oh yeah, did. Zion was so much, so much fun. Definitely the last big highlight. We, we did go back to Canada after that. We saw lots of family. We didn't get to film too much, but that was a humongous highlight. But maybe the biggest was coming right back here to the good old Dominican Republic. You just skipped a whole thing. But what did I skip? Well, in August we went we went over <laughs> oh to. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting actually forgetting this is, that this month actually happened. But in August we flew from Halifax over to Copenhagen. So this is why we're doing the yeah. recap because we clearly <laughs> we can't even remember it. Really. So it was a busy year, guys. Totally yeah. forgot about that. We got taken over there to work with uh, Holland America on a cruise ship, but got to do some of the British Isles. And first of all, we did start at Copenhagen, like yeah. you just said. First time over there. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. And then hopped on a cruise ship. So I loved Copenhagen. Cruise ship is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, I also think a lot of people didn't see those videos as well because we've actually ran into people here. Like we run into a lot of people here in the Dominican Republic. And a few people have asked us, what do you think about cruising? Have you ever been on a cruise? And it was like, oh, we just did it. We just did it. It's, but they didn't seem to see it. It's so. the challenges of being a YouTuber sometimes mm -hmm. when you do too, like a, something that's outside of the box that YouTube puts you in. Yeah. They just don't put the video out to everyone. So we did have a blast. That was the first time back in UK, <laughs> in the UK in a long time. But the biggest highlight, I think, was coming back here. Now I'm caught up to speed. Yeah. <laughs> coming back here to the DR, baby. Oh, man, this is... Oh, we don't regret it at all. We needed to go slow mm -hmm. after all of that travel, that's for sure. Yeah, and it, we realized like mid last year, probably in March or April, that we were starting to burn out. And at that point, we, we I think we decided really early on we were coming going to spend the last of 2023. Yeah in the Dominican Republic. We were like, we have to get back. It's our favorite place. <laughs> you know, I think it was when we were in the Philippines in March, we made that decision. So that shows you, but uh, yeah, let's get into maybe some of the challenges we had. By far the biggest challenge of uh, the year for us, 2023 traveling was just complete travel burnout. And I know it might not seem like that when you watch our regularly produced videos and the way um, we create videos, because we do end up having so much fun when we're filming. I, ho I hope that comes across. But sometimes when we're filming too much or we're just jumping around too much, like every three days, it gets tough. It's so tough. And it's funny because when I think back on the year, some of my highlights were actually the times when I felt the most burnt out, which mm -hmm. is funny because like I do think like South Korea, Japan, that that trip we did in the van was the stuff we did the quickest and we didn't have enough time and I felt totally exhausted, but yeah. I loved it at the same time. Yeah, so it was, it was like, like within, I think we in South Korea, in Japan, in Hawaii, and the van trip, I think that was over the course of about three and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. So that was crazy. We were jet lagged, we were filming almost every day, and we realized pretty quickly that we can't do that. We yeah. just don't want to do that anymore. Uh, I think it's good uh, that we caught ourselves uh, saying that and we recognize that. We're getting older, we don't, we're just not interested to travel like that all the time. Now, if you guys are watching and wondering if we're still gonna travel the world, yes, we are. But we're going to be more strategic about it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what that means is the DR is still going to be the home base. Don't worry, we're not leaving this place or anything like that. Of course, we're still going to go back to Canada, likely in the summer months, mm -hmm. uh, visit family. But in between those things, there's a lot of months to, to do some things. And uh, we always love going back to Europe and the Mediterranean area. We really like going anywhere in the there's world. There's so many places we want to go. We've never even been to anywhere on the continent of Africa at all. Which How is, is that? blows awesome. my mind I know. so that's definitely got to happen at some point we've never been to India there's just all these amazing places yeah. that are on the bucket list and we always have a hard time deciding between going back to places we know and we love mm. or going to new places and it's like that's yeah. the struggle I think we just tallied it up and like talking about burnout like we went to 12 countries last year and I think three it was were new three were new three continents mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and a whole lot of filming and a whole lot of work. I know it looks like we're on a permanent vacation, but I, I tell you, we put a lot of work into the videos, that's for sure. So we're trying to figure out the burnout going forward. Uh, right now, we don't have it at all because I think this is what we need to be doing, but yeah. we'll see as I think a, a little bit of a, the reason it happened the way it did was because of, part, partially because of the pandemic, we really didn't get to do any traveling for about yeah. two or three years. Mm -hmm. We were here for a good chunk of time to take things slow. That's where we fell in love with this place, Dominican Republic. But then we started traveling again. It was like, it felt like catch up time. <laughs> yeah, especially when we went to Asia. We, we, it was the first time we had Asia really on our own terms without like a set timeline. Mm -hmm. So we just had to hit all those places we've been dying to explore and uh, we did it, but there might have been a cost. But uh, the other biggest challenge of the year for us, and I know a lot of you guys ask us about, is our, our tiny house. We just had issues with it and still don't know what... Not with the tiny house specifically, but just where it was. So we have yep. nowhere to put it right now. I know a few people have reached out when we did another video sort of mentioning it, mm -hmm. but that we weren't sure what we were going to do with it. And some people even offered to put, like, put it on their land and rent it out. You guys are so sweet. We just don't know at this point. <laughs> if we want to get into putting it on someone else's land again and yeah. having someone else run it for us. I just don't, I don't know what to do. Yeah, we're not sure. I mean, I, could we buy some land perhaps, but we don't know if we want to get into that, if it's going to tie us up too much while we're here. Uh, so that's what we're trying to figure out. It's in storage. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys asked and, and uh, that's where it is. Maybe it will be out of storage next, uh, next summer or maybe will sell it, but um, it's been it's been a challenge. I mean, you live and you learn, and the yeah. tiny house has not been um, not what been we hoped. not not what we hoped. It's not been easy to navigate, but hey, I mean that's how it goes. Like that's how it goes. <laughs> we just realized we left out a huge highlight of the year, and that was meeting up with our friends. And we're super fortunate to have friends that we can just meet up with in other countries. And sometimes we forget, and that almost feels normal for us. We all work in travel, but I, I realize it's not normal for everyone. <laughs> yeah, but we love having friends that also travel a huge amount of the time, but they're also creators as well. So they kind of just get what the life is like. And it, yeah. our uh, you know, some of our best friends are other uh, YouTubers or creators of some sort. I'll just mention all of them right now, but meeting up with Eric and Allison of The Endless Adventure again, uh, that what happened in, uh, well, in Vegas and in Zion. We all had so much fun yeah, together. We, we were in a camper van, they brought their RV, so it was super fun. <laughs> yeah, at this point we've met all these, uh, all these people all over the world now in different countries, but so much fun. And then of course, uh, coming back here to the Dominican Republic and while we were in Vegas, meeting up with Voyager Guru, mm -hmm. some of our uh, best friends. Hi guys, if you're watching. Yeah, we got to go stay with them in Vegas at their house there, and then we saw them here. They have a a condo here mm -hmm. in uh, Cabarete yeah. and they were here for a couple of weeks. They've been in some uh, somewhat recent videos as well and speaking of people that have been in somewhat uh, recent videos meeting back up with jumping places of course last time we saw them was in Thailand uh, back in 2022 late 2022 this time they came later. they came here a year later yeah. so we're still Cabarete. in the middle of putting out that series don't worry that next video they will be back yeah again. that's a good point because this we thought we'd make this recap there are still two other videos coming up with those guys in it and there's uh, it's gonna be so much fun. One of them specifically I cannot wait to edit. Yeah, by the time you watch this you might have seen their version of that day. You might have. Yeah. <laughs> but enough about 2023, let's get into 2024 because I'm sure you guys are super curious about what's going on. So we're kicking things off in January. We're gonna stay right here. We got some really exciting videos on the way. We absolutely love the DR of course as you guys all know so lots more content coming up there but then in february we're going somewhere else yeah so we are going to be here for january probably not film too much because we filmed so much already there might be a couple more videos that we'll make before we head off we're going to be back here again in march mm -hmm. so there might be some more videos later a little bit later but in february we're going to actually leave the dominican republic but not going too too far <laughs> yeah so we're gonna uh, hop on a flight and we're going to some smaller Caribbean islands. We're gonna to try to Caribbean island hop a bit. It's so hard to do that at a affordable price, especially in the Caribbean. Yeah, and just to find direct flights where you don't have to like fly to Miami and back again. Yeah, it's so complicated. the reason we wanna say now is if any of you guys have any recommendations, these upcoming countries and islands, 
let us know about our first stop is going to be uh, St. Martin. Yeah, we're going to be staying on the French side. I'm sure we will also visit the Dutch side yes. as well, but I think we're going to concentrate probably more so on the French side. Maybe. Maybe you guys will leave us comments and say, no, that's a bad idea. Yeah, we're, we'll we're pretty stoked. That's the island that has the airport with the beach, so you guys might yeah. see a lot of people. And half of it's Dutch and half of it's French. <laughs> yeah, you might see people on the beach kind of waving at the planes that's and getting blown right over. over your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that place, uh, but there's lots more to do there, of course. And then after that, we're going to take a little ferry and head over to and I, sometimes I don't say this correctly, I think it's Anguilla. Anguilla, I'm pretty sure is the correct pronunciation, <laughs> but you guys can let us know if we're saying that improperly. Yeah, and um, that place just looks magical. Mm -hmm. The, the beach just beaches. looks incredible. Oh, I think it's word. a little bit like off the beaten path in terms of Caribbean islands, so I think that's gonna be extra exciting because a lot of people have never really heard of it before. Yeah, we're trying to find some of the more obscure places to go to, to bring you guys along, and uh, just to see what you think, because we're curious what we're gonna think. <laughs> And we can't wait for that. And uh, last but not least, we're going to head over to Antigua. 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 Antigua and Barbuda. <laughs> yes. Is the name of the country officially. Mm, but that, we're going to be on, in, on, on Antigua. Yeah, that's going to be a blast. We wanted to go there for so long, and it's finally happening. There are some like cheaper airlines popping up now in the Caribbean, which it's still pretty expensive. But. It is still expensive, but it, it helps that, <laughs> that they're a little more affordable than they used to be. Yeah. It's going to be a splurge for sure, but we really mm -hmm. wanted to do something a little bit different. We know. You guys love watching us here in the Dominican Republic, but there are some people that would rather see us travel a little bit, so this I feel like is a nice happy medium. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to please everyone, mm -hmm. that's for sure. But uh, then after that, we come back here, we're going to Los Tyrannis, so if anyone has recommendations around Samana, L uh, LT let's call it. Yeah, that we'll, we have not done before. We'll be back there for a little while, uh, meeting back up uh, with some friends, and we'll be in the DR until about, at, at this point we're thinking May uh, or June. Depending. Yeah, we're thinking probably probably May yeah. is my guess. So after that, we're heading back to Canada, back to see family, and we have yeah. a huge surprise, yes. a massive surprise, and we're not going to reveal it. It's just not yet. a kid. It's not a kid. <laughs> no babies. I feel like any time we say that, people are like, you're going to have a baby. Yeah, we'll we're not having a baby. There. I no, have to say no that, kid. so you guys don't leave, <laughs> leave a comment being like, you're going to have a baby. No, no it's not a baby. Definitely not, but it's, it's going to be... It's something we've been working on for a while, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. Do you want to give them a tiny little hint? It's, it's going to help us explore um, two countries that we want to see more of, one being our own and one being the good old USA. Yeah. So we'll leave it at that and you guys will find out uh, definitely in a few few months or maybe uh, four months, something like that. We can't wait. And after that, big thing that will happen, the big thing that's going to happen mm -hmm. is we're going back to Europe specifically for our Greek, our Greece group trip. Yes. Yeah, so if anybody, if you hearing about this for the very first time. We are heading to Crete, Greece. It's mid-September for both, I think a six day group trip. Everybody is invited, come along with us. We would love to have you. Yeah. And we'll put a link in the description if you want to read through the full itinerary. It's got everything in there. Yeah, you guys asked us to do this. Uh, that's right, we're gonna travel with all of you. We want all of you to come on this trip. There's still spots available. We're going to Crete, Greece. We have an awesome lineup. We even have a tour guide arranged. So it's not just beaches, there's going to be history, there's going to be great food. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't watched us in Greece before, make sure to do that. Maybe I can link to the playlist yeah. somewhere up here and you'll get a taste of what it's going to be like. This trip is going to be a blast. Yeah, I just want to say one thing about that. No pressure on anybody, but one thing we would love to do continuously in the future is to do a bunch of group trips to different places in the world, maybe one or two each year, but it's really contingent on this trip going well and we do need a few more people mm -hmm. to sign up for it in order for it to be a really big success. Yeah, after that we could go on uh, go to another country somewhere, mm -hmm. so it'll yeah. be a lot of fun. But since we're going to be over in Europe, of course we're going to go to some other European countries. And this is where we say to you guys, where would you like us to see us go over mm -hmm. there, right? There's uh, a lot of countries that we've been to in Europe, that's for sure, many, many countries. But some of them we'd love to go back to. We yeah. always talk about Portugal, we always talk yeah. about going back to Croatia. Going back to Spain, like there's so many there's places, so but much. I'd love to go to Malta, we've never been before. Mm -hmm. Again, going back to that struggle of going back to places, going to new places, Yeah, you know, so difficult. And of course, if you're still watching this far in the video, we will be coming back to the DR mm -hmm. again. This is home base, remember, so this is kind of how we're, you, you might see the pattern of the year we're trying to line up mm -hmm. year over year. We're still going to spend the most time here and uh, we're super excited about that. All right, last but not least, we got some housekeeping items because mm -hmm. we never get to mention this uh, stuff right, really. Right, right, videos, really. So one of them is you guys ask us all the time. One of the big questions we get is how do you make how do we make money? And obviously, 
making these videos is a, a form of income for us, but we also have a web design business. So if you're interested in that, we will make, we'll put the link in Yeah, we'll put a link down below. To our website. Uh, so yeah, we've had lots of subscribers uh, hire us to build websites. Um, we never used to even advertise this or say it out loud, but clearly um, people are looking for web designers. Mm -hmm. We do that as well, so we wanted to mention that we just never get a chance in the, in the regular video, so we can likely build any kind of website you like. If that's something you're into, hit us up for sure. Okay. Second one is you guys ask us about this all the time. What is happening on Facebook? So <laughs> Facebook is kind of new to like sharing videos. So it's yep. kind of, and you might see some other creators doing this as well. It's taking older video clips and putting them up on Facebook. So we keep confusing people. They're like, are you in Poland? Where are you? <laughs> like, no, we're in the Dominican, still in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, so, so okay, the point here is we're, we're trying to grow our Facebook. So if all you guys want to hop over there and just like the page, that would be, a, we appreciate it, that's for sure. It's not going to show where we're at in real time. Think of it like a collection or highlights of where we've been in the past. We just yeah. take clips and put them up there. Facebook's just a different animal mm -hmm. altogether. Don't worry, YouTube will always be our main thing. This yeah. is the main thing, just Facebook. We're monetized over there now. I think Facebook, especially given those smaller, shorter clips, great for you guys that haven't been watching from the very beginning yeah. and you might not know some of the places we've been. You get to see like little excerpts mm -hmm. of older content. We also have a pretty active community over there that just kind of, I don't want to say came out of nowhere, but there's a lot of people that engage and it's a lot of fun. So definitely uh, check out Facebook if you can. The last thing people ask, how to support us. So one of the big ways, one of the free ways is just by watching these videos and not skipping the ads. If you want to skip the ads, go right ahead, but it is a free way to support us. We do have a join button that's right down there. I think the minimum is like a dollar a month. It just supports the channel. We try to do a little bit of ex extra things for the members. Yeah, there, yeah, and we also have a Patreon as well. So uh, you can join up to that as well. It's kind of similar in mm -hmm. terms of like the join button. Yeah, we also have some merchandise. It's definitely something we don't bring up enough, but uh, there is merch mm -hmm. that you can purchase if that's something yeah, you're into. Yeah, all sorts of stuff, t-shirts. Tank tops, I think there's sweaters, hoodies, stickers. Stuff. We do want to add more stuff to it. It's one of those things that we talk about all the time of getting new designs, getting some new merchandise, some new higher quality products, and putting them up. And it's just one of the things that we never seem to have time for. I'm hoping in January yeah. it's going to be something we can co concentrate on. Yeah, it gets put on the back burner a lot. But lots of you have bought the merch and sent us photos. So thank you yeah. uh, for that. And you also mentioned, I completely forgot, uh, sponsors. You see sponsors mm -hmm. pop up in a lot of videos. Uh, Squarespace is a huge one. They're a longtime partner. They're going to be coming up in 2024 as well. Um, so you're going to see lots of them. And that goes a long way when you click on the links and just support Squarespace because they support us. And honestly, that helps us produce yeah. the videos. Of course, anytime we have a, a sponsor in a video, when they see people are clicking and purchasing, mm. they like that and it makes them come back to <laughs> us, which is great. Yeah, so we just wanted to mention all that. I think we got everything out of the way. Yeah. Uh, we talked about all the little random housekeeping mm -hmm. items. I know the video is long today, but we just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys because yeah. we don't film videos like this very often. And we thought it would be fun. Uh, if you're watching right now, you'd be catching it on the premiere. We should just trying that out to see how, mm, never done that how it is. Yeah, I know. And uh, we might be in the chat answering. But of course, this video will be up on the channel. Hopefully, you're having a chilled out uh, New Year's. Happy New Year's. Uh, by the way, and yes. Merry Christmas still, even though that just passed. Just happened, <laughs> but yes, a very happy New Year's to all of you. We'd also love to hear your comments. What were your favorite things that we did in 2023? Maybe mm -hmm. what was the favorite thing that you did in 2023? Yeah. And what's, what are we looking for? What are you guys looking forward to with us in 2024 and yourselves too? We'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, we've been talking a lot today, but just in case, again, you don't know who we are, it's Trevor and Anna, it's the Life of Travelers. Thanks for tuning in each and every week. This week coming, we're gonna have two videos to kick off the year, so I know this one's not coming out. I think it's on a Saturday. We're gonna have two coming up, and we can't wait to uh, show you those. So get ready, we're gonna kick the year off with, uh, with the bang, I guess. All right, guys, that's it. From the Dominican Republic, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.